good. How are you doing there? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Excellent, excellent. You had a day off today? Oh, I had an audio. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. I had a day off. I just had to look after my little one because he had his, uh, um, all his mouth lasered because uh, he had lip ties and cheek ties and tongue ties. So had all that lasered, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Pretty full on day. How's he? Little bugger. Hey, that was Friday, but that, when they um when they did it, they're like, oh, best off have Monday off. He'll be pretty sore, but he's been happier. So. Oh, well, that's good. Must have yeah. done the job then. Yeah, done the job. He's he can stick his tongue out now and you know move his mouth properly. <laughs> so Excellent. Yeah. Oh, that's great, mate. So um. Thanks for agreeing to do this, mate. Um, no, I appreciate your uh, time and support of what we're doing there with you at your property and what no, you've experienced. Fine, it's awesome. Anything, yeah. um, I had a great time when I came up there the other night. So, that's good. Um, listen, Mark's told me the basics of your sighting, and I had a bit of a chat to you the other night as well. Yeah. But um, yeah. for everybody else out there who wants to hear about it, um, sure. Let's go. Now, you, you start work pretty early in the morning, yeah? Yeah, I start at 5.30 in the morning, um, an hour away, but, you know, it's a bit of a, bit of a drive. That's yep. a good time. Yep, yeah. that's a good time to be on the road. You see lots of things sometimes. Yeah, I see, I see lots. I go the back way through the scrub, um, so it cuts about 15 minutes off my trip. But yep. I've got to keep an eye out for all the wildlife and all the roos and deers and all that sort of stuff. Have you seen so, many deer up through there? Uh, a, de- a deer at our place, but I've had a few deers on the road, um, but not too many really, just lots of roos. Yep. Have you hit anything? No, almost. <laughs> yeah, almost. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to hit uh, one of them fallow deer, they're pretty solid. Yeah, they are, they're pretty big, yeah. So, yeah. what date was it when you had your sighting again? It was at the end of May, uh, wasn't it? 24th of May. Okay. So what happened exactly, mate? Uh, I was leaving for work. Um, I was running a bit late, so I was probably going a bit quicker than I should. But I was only like maybe a kilometre away from the house by the road. It's probably about three or four hundred metres yep. from the house. But um, yeah, just heading down down the scrub uh, around this bend, long bend. And uh, what was I doing? Doing about a, maybe a hundred yep. around this corner. And then I see something like full on run across the road right in front of me. I was like, bloody hell. You know, like, I couldn't quite picture what it was in my head. Like, it was running on all fours, sort of weird sort of run. Like, the back legs were together and I had this kangaroo like tail. And I've only been part of this uh, to go on Facebook group for oh, maybe five, six months. And I was like, oh, it might be one of those things, those, those thylacines. And so I just keep computing it every, all the way to work. And I was like, has to be running on all fours, you know, this weird sort of hopping run. And it scurried up the bank, just on the side of the road there. Just only had like a few seconds to look at it, really. Um, but it was enough to, no, it wasn't a kangaroo, it wasn't a fox, and it wasn't a dog, because it had this long, long kangaroo like tail. So oh, it's got to be. I didn't see any stripes, so but I had like a darker, darker top of the rear and like lighter underneath and solid back legs, and I was like fast. I must have startled it as I came around the corner, but yeah, it was pretty, pretty interesting. It's something, something I won't forget. So um, you didn't see stripes, but the top half of the animal at the rear was kind of darker than the yeah, the, it was darker than the, the rump. Than at, underneath. Yeah, it was fourteen in the morning. I was, and I didn't have. A lot, a lot of time to look at it and study it really but it's just yeah dark on top and lighter underneath and kangaroo tail and you know, strong back legs and on all, f- weird. on all fours yeah on all fours yeah yeah can you recall um, what color it was was it like a uh, it's like, it like the we've got eastern kangaroos here eastern greys it was yeah. like that so um, it's that dirty grey brown color yeah, dirty grey but yeah I had my high beams on it was, it was Know, early morning I couldn't really quite tell exactly what colour it is sure but it's, it's like that kangaroo colour because yeah yep yeah. No, that best describes it um and um how big was it do you think uh, I wouldn't be any bigger than my knee height really okay so it wasn't a huge animal it wasn't huge no okay no. 
Um, and the back feet were moving together, you said? Yeah, yeah. So that gave it that awkward gait? Yeah, but it was moving. It was fast. I crossed a couple of lanes like, real quick and scoped up the bank on all fours. Yeah, something you won't forget. So probably three to five seconds or something you had it in your sight for? Uh, a, bit, a bit less than that, really. Maybe, maybe two seconds. Okay. Like, because you're hooting around the like, corner there. Yeah. <laughs> you can see what it's doing. Yeah. So, yeah, um, no you, you've heard some audio the other night when we were up there. What would you describe that audio like? Uh, the audio. Oh, I was out driving with Roman, um, but we came back as it was all happening. And like three, three coughing barks, but it sort of went up in scale a little bit, and none of us could like figure out what it was. It's like, what is this? This is like, well, nothing that the other guys have ever heard before. Nothing I've ever heard before either. It was like, it wasn't a fox because we played YouTube videos of all these fox noises and stuff. It definitely wasn't a fox, but I was just consistent these three barks, and then sort of a bit of a gap in these three barks. Then a gap, and it just kept going for about maybe ten minutes, and it wasn't in the same spot the whole way. It so just, it was definitely it was moving. A few hundred meters, I reckon, or a couple hundred meters. Yeah, okay. So it was it, interesting. It, when Mark woke me up and I heard it, it it sounded pretty close. It didn't sound that far away. Uh, it was quite it was audible. Actually, it was pretty close. Yeah, it wouldn't be any more than fifty meters away, I reckon. Yeah. But uh, the other guys are baited of the area with what aniseed oil or something yep so it's like must have been a bit of scent around that they're pretty excited about well yeah it certainly got spirits up that's for sure yeah. just didn't get me up out of me swag i was feeling pretty <laughs> pretty ordinary still yeah pretty crook <laughs> you're like oh that's a fox i was like no it's not a fox mate <laughs> yeah yeah i just went back to sleep yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't nah, we're playing those youtube videos of all these fox noises and it's like nah it's not like that at all not a deer, you know. It wasn't those barking owls. It wasn't. It wasn't like any thylacine noise I've heard from Tassie. That's for sure. Yeah. So okay. it was. It was absolutely, you know, not a fox. I've got no problem with that. But um, it certainly is a new sound. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's, so that was that was the good bit, I guess. Uh, Roman's got yeah, it on on his on his video on his audio, but um, yeah, we we probably need to clean it up a little bit, but it's definitely there in the background. Yeah, I only heard Which, it on my know, phone and it wasn't very really good. It, yeah. yeah, I need to open it up on my laptop with the speakers, so uh, get a bit more audio out of it. Yeah. Now, nah, well, yeah. what else is there you could say? Have you have you to spoken to your missus about it, or you know any other friends or family? Oh, what you seen? Yeah. My missus, she's a vet nurse, so I showed her. Well, I found those footprints. Um, and she's like, no, that's not a dog. I was like, no, it's not a dog at all, these footprints. Yeah, they're, so, they're pretty distinct, aren't they? Yeah, these footprints are... Jeez, oh, uh, the back trail along my fence. Yep. They're, um, just down probably 100 metres from the fence. There's like a sandy creek there. And then in the sandy, there's like... I didn't see them initially, but further up the hill, because I went for a walk, and there's more sandy spots. And i seen this one, it's like clear as day. I was like, bloody hell. Okay, I'll take a photo of that. I'll send it to Mark. And Mark didn't get back to me initially. He must have been busy. But then I went on to go our website and just had to look through photos. And I'm like, bang. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. And I put it side by side. And then Mark got back to me and goes, oh, that's the one from, that's the one from Kaipo. So I didn't even know it was local footprint on your website. Ah, oh, like, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so exactly the same. Had the fifth digit there just... Excellent. And I didn't measure it initially, but I went back the day later off. A bit of rain, but yeah, seven centimetres wide. Seven centimetres, then, okay. Yeah. Well, that's not fully grown then. That's, that's, no, not, not fully grown at all. That's nearly three inches. Adult females, three and a half inches from my oh, experience. Yeah. Adult male, a bit over four, four and a quarter. Yeah. So that's about 107 mil or something. Yeah, right. And you're saying that might be a different species here, a bit smaller or something. Well, I think there's more than one species on the mainland, certainly. There's yeah. there's different types of feet that present that are five-toed and got the traits, but they're different shape and different sort of structure. Yeah, okay. And that video I put up in the group yesterday or the day before that was a memory yeah. of mine, 
from the southeast. That's a classic example of something that's got five toes, but yeah. it's got a longer, smaller foot. Yeah, it looks like the fifth claw is a bit lower too. Yeah. Yeah. So you it's know, like I believe it's up. yeah, I believe it's marsupial. I believe it's got four legs, and I can't say anything more certain than that. But yeah. it's not I a claw. Another print further down the track that looked like a, a rear, but I couldn't be. The rears, the rears do throw you a bit. Yeah. When you've got a good, you know, eight, twelve sets, you know, of, of individual prints, like three sets of four, you start to see the the, the similarities that, that go right through. But every print's yeah. different depending on the substrate. Yeah. Um. There's a bit of variation there, but you, overall, you can sort of tell once you get a good trackway of prints. It's like, yeah, nah, that ain't no dog, you know. Yeah. Couldn't quite get the spacing, but it was just because I seen it a bit, bit further, a bit closer to the house than that sandy spot. You can yeah. see the prints after it rained a little bit, but it was like it just looked like I was just walking along. But it must have been a, if it was a dog, it must have been a massive dog, which I haven't seen around here. But well, yeah, fifth, that fifth claw. Yeah, it's a bit of a giveaway. So, Were you? Yeah, and the pad is different to a dog, so. Were you still there when um, Mick heard the yipping from down the bottom of the paddock? Uh, yeah, I got that on video. Uh, on, on video. On audio. On audio, yeah. Um, it was in a different direction. It was um, 90 degrees from where the other one was, sort of where people live. Yep. Um, but if you look at the map, it's all forest. And yeah, yeah, so it's plenty of... There's another creek line down there. Yep. Um, but yeah, it was, it was yipping. We were like, wow, look at, listen to that, you know. It was clear as day. It's like... Yeah, when you when you played it to me, it was it was pretty, you know, it was exactly the same as what I record in Tassie. Yeah, exactly. And exactly how you describe it was it was that it was just yep 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 yeah, and then it'll stop, and then it'll just go again, and then it'll stop, and then it'll go again, and then oh maybe the fourth fifth time it was going, another one joined in, I like, overlapped it and it was deeper, like a deeper yep, and then it stopped. So I don't know what the yipping means or anything. Maybe these two animals found each other or something. Well, they, they can something. find each other just with their smell. I reckon they're communicating on a hunt and, and spooking the game when they're doing it most of the time, yeah. when they're yipping. Because okay. a lot a lot of the time when I've heard it, it is definitely on the move and there's more than one animal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, there you go. We heard two and there's more than one of us have heard the second one, so... Yeah, no, that's awesome. This is, this is a different area to that barking cough, so... Yeah. Maybe there's a family of them, really. I know. Well, I've got one recording of the barking cough from South Australia from last year. Yep. But um, I haven't released that yet. I might add that to this mix. If you can um, email me that audio you got, I'll send it to yep, Scott, sure. and he will yep. clean it up for us and um, make a clip for me to throw on the YouTube. And I'll yeah, add that to the yeah. whole... Because what I'm going to do with the stuff with you... And a few other people that I speak to along the way is use that in the. I'll do like a 30, 40 minute video of the, the whole trip. Yep. And um, I'll put this out as well uh, as an individual thing, but I'll use it with the with the footage um, yep. inside the, um, the, the 30, 40 minute episode I'll make when I get back to Tassie. Well, it's not over here. <laughs> I'm pretty committed now to find out what this thing is you know yeah mate look as long as you're living on that property it's it's going to be easy access for you and you you'll hear it you might yeah, see it again access, you know got good access to water here like scrub and plenty of game there's yeah. heaps of roos up there heaps of roos as long as they don't get my roos i'm good, I'm all good. well if they do <laughs> you might just get lucky oh, circle of life isn't it so <laughs> yeah that's it mate that's it and um you know predators around at the moment. predators do eat things and they're not polite about how they do it, so... Not at all. All right, mate. Well, look, thanks heaps for your time. And obviously, call me whenever you want. We can chat whenever you want. Um, send, me, send me photos or whatever you want. But, you know, you got Mark there and he's he's right behind it, so... Yeah, Mark um, and Mick, they're all over it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You guys you guys will have a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot yeah, of fun a proving it. around the area and stuff, so times yeah absolutely mate and look when i get a chance i'll come back again i might try and come down in summer because i work all summer so it's a bit hard I but did. i might yep. i might try and get a couple of weeks off in summer and do what do you do for work um i work at a fire tower on a mountain and sit up there you know four stories up 
700 metres up on a mountain looking for smoke for bushfires. Nice. Good gig. Me, me, the dog and the eagles. It's pretty good. <laughs> Lots of eagles? Lots of eagles. They come in real close sometimes too. It's awesome. That's good. So, yeah, we, we have a good time up there. And then I do a bit of cooking in one of the pubs out north as well, out where I work. Oh, you have to, you have to put your skills to use then when you, when you come up next. <laughs> well, I was going to when I was there, but I was just so buggered. And because we had so that cool. pizza, I just yeah. didn't worry. I ate the packet of chips and then I was ready for bed. I was I was knackered. Uh, next time I'll bait up the area again and give it here. Yeah, look, we I reckon they'll come in. We just need to be still and quiet in the one place long enough, really. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of carrying on a bit. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it was all about the social side of it as much as it is the research oh, the side got, of it. At least we got something, so that's good. Yeah, that's it. And and you, what what harm are we doing sitting out there listening for animals like a bunch of uh-huh. loons? You know, it's yeah. pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, mate. No worries. I'll let you get back to it. You obviously got your family and stuff to get going there, so you yeah. get dinner on. Yeah. And I'll um, speak to you again soon and uh, let you know when this is all sorted. It'll be up there in the group. Sounds good. Awesome. Look forward to looking at it. All right. Cheers, mate. I'll see you, mate. Bye. Ta-da.